Hello, welcome to Yoga Rich. I'm Rich, thank you very much for joining me. Welcome to week two. We're in our Gemini season and we're working with Viana Vayu. So Viana Vayu is one of the values which is a direction. And with Viana Vayu, we're looking at working with the limbs and the circulatory system. So you've got those two um, entities like the outer body, so the arms, the legs moving, and then we have the inner body, so the muscles are working, reacting, so we're starting to create movement with the circulation, getting um, sort of improved and into the areas of the body, which obviously we don't get when we sit for long periods of time. So this is why it's important to move, so we get the circulation going and improving. Um, one way to, um, which I love with the description uh, for Vianna Vayu, especially when we're in Gemini season. So this is one of the many reasons why I wanted to practice Vianna Vayu during Gemini season is Vianna Vayu is the distribution and communication system of the body. So you have those two entities again, that distribution and the communication, especially with that communication entity because Geminis are the communicators, they're represented by the twins, so you have that duality, uh, and then we have the limbs, the outer world, and we have that, that inner world as well. So it's integrating all of the other four values and keeping them nourished and balanced. Uh, so even though I know we haven't practiced all the values yet here because we've done the Pana Vayu and Prana Vayu and now we're going into the fifth one so I have done them all out of order because I wanted them to be in line with the seasons and the astrology archetypes. So we're going into our Vianna Vayu movement for the limbs. We're going to work with the arms. Anyone that's ever practiced with me knows I love to over gesture with the, the arms and one of my favourite practices is working with what I lovingly call the octopus arms because that's how I feel it looks and it's just quite fun to practice. Basically you're getting movement because you're, you're shrugging and rotating with the shoulders as you lift up, you get that lift up and you're shrugging down. You're bending the elbow so you're sort of releasing there and as we turn the hand around you're getting this rotation in the wrist as well. So the idea with octopus arms is to imagine that you're holding something and you don't want to drop it or you can even practice this holding something. So when I was teaching this earlier it was quite a lot of fun because uh, obviously I can see everyone uh, on the screen has their camera on when we're doing the live stream classes and you can book in with them they're in the description underneath this video. Uh, so you can practice with me wherever you are it's quite fun because there's people digging in boxes for kids toys or digging in the boxes for dog toys and they're sort of finding things so you really if you are holding something obviously be mindful that if you drop it you don't want it to be something that's going to be breaking uh, or you don't want it to be too heavy if it does drop on your head so the idea is to keep the palm facing up i tend to try and hold something and i do kind of cut my hand a little bit but you're keeping it around the fingers not on the palm of the hand so it's that lift up and over and just as I did there you can work one arm and then work the other arm so I'm just going to talk you through this one and go through a few different variations so you can do the sitting kneeling or standing and we're going to start so I'm going to show you one arm first so we start always try to keep the palm facing up there's basically two movements you're either moving the hand back or you're moving the hand forward to then move the hand back to move the hand forward so you're moving the hand back forward, back and forward. So showing you from the side, moving the hand back, moving the hand forward, to push the hand back and moving the hand forward. Then we work with the fingertips. So we hands start down by the hips, so fingertips point into the hips and you push the hand back and then we turn the hand out to the side. So we're almost bringing the arm up towards the shoulders. Push the arm forward rotate the palm so the fingertips pointing in towards the body and then we push the hand back and we rotate the arm around we're now back down with the shoulders fingertips are pointing out we bring the arm forward to pull it in and back with the hips so it's back turn the hands out forward turn the hands in back turn the hands out forward turn the hands in back turn the hands out forward turn the hands in back turn the hand out forward, turn the hand in. And you can change sides, so you're keeping the movement really slow. And let the movement really, you know, let the arm move around. So you're not keeping the arm close to the body. So you can really push the arm out and over and push it out. So you're moving with the, with the shoulders. And if you do find the hand turns around, that's fine. 
So it's just finding this moment. It's all about being silly. Geminis are the big kids, so get in touch with that silliness being a bit fun. And in Gemini season, it can be very easy to find that we overthink. We can overthink with this. It's amazing how many times I teach this. I can see it on people's faces. They're like, oh, am I doing this properly? Let it go and just move with the arms and find that fluidity. And the beauty with this when you're standing is that you can move that into the hips and into the legs. So you can kind of move around the, the mat. So you can work one arm and the other, or you can work both arms at the same time. So you're starting at the hips. You're pushing the hand back to turn the hand around. Pull the arm forward and overhead, so you're pushing the shoulders um, and the elbows out, so you're not trying to overlap the hands, especially if you're holding something that can make it tricky. Push the arms back, turn the hands out, we're now in line with the shoulders, always think like walk like an Egyptian, and then push the hands forward to bring them back and down. So push back, turn them out. Forward, over your head, turn the fingertips in. Push them back and out in line with the shoulders, forward, and then pull them into the hips. And then you can change the direction as well. We've already worked one arm and the other, and you can start one arm. When you start to find this, you can get quite creative. So you can work one arm, get halfway, start the other arm up as you complete the other arm. And obviously be mindful, like I did there, you know, you might be catching things around you, so make sure you have plenty of room as you work with this one. Woo! And then it's changing. So you have one arm. So you might find one arm again like we normally do is, is dominant, which is fine. So that's working one arm, getting halfway, inviting the other arm in, and then you continue so the arms alternate. You can also change the direction of the arms. So we started by pushing the hands back and out. So you can push the arms forward to turn the hands out, bring the arms back and over your head. So it really kind of scoops the shoulders, pushing forward and out. So again, you get that shrug of the shoulders. So you really ripple through the spine, or at least I know I do. And then if you find that, I tend to find I want to turn my hands around more when I, when I do this movement, it feels bigger in the shoulders. It's like we naturally shrug the shoulders this way, which is why I tend to push back. If you're someone that naturally shrugs forward, you may find that movement is easier to change the, the direction of pushing the arms forward to start with, and then you shrug the arms quite big over your head. And then if you wish to, you can have one arm going back and at the same time, one arm going forward. So the arms rotate, woo, at different levels. So I'm putting this up here, you can run through this as often as you wish to, but just be a little bit silly, enjoy the fun with it. This was really fun, I taught this this time last year now is at a uh, festival, and it was just really good fun because it just got people moving and then just moving your arms around on the mat. So just have a play with getting into this movement. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. I uh, shall see you next week. Let me know also how you got on with the Tuesday practice. We were going into working with the resistance bands and the belts. Next Tuesday is one last practice going up on the Tuesday. And then I shall see you for two more of the Gemini practices for our Gemini Viana by you. I shall see you next week. Namaste.